Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Picciuto, and today we're gonna make a super quick and easy picture frame. Dead simple. Check it. Today's video is brought to you by Sunday. Sunday is reinventing lawn care by providing a smarter, easier, and safer way to having a thriving lawn. More on Sunday later. So I go through a lot of mini obsessions, and my current obsession is artist Karita Kent. I absolutely love her style. She was an artist and an art teacher, and she had these 10 rules for her art department. She's no longer around, but I purchased this poster from the Karita Art Center that we're gonna hang in the shop. We're gonna use this piece of walnut scrap that I have lying around and make a frame. Rule number one, find a place you trust and then try trusting it for a while. I'm not gonna work to any particular dimension, so I'm just gonna cut it down this way and then cut it down this way so I can have four pieces and we'll see what size it ends up. Before I do that, these surfaces are pretty rough, so let's run them over the joint. Number two, general duties of a student. Pull everything out of your teacher, pull everything out of your fellow students. Now that we have our four pieces cut, we're gonna cut the rabbit using two passes on the table saw. So that is our picture frame. We got our rabbit cut in there. Number three, General duties of a teacher, pull everything out of your students. So we're not gonna use a mat, this is just gonna frame around the poster. It is 17 inches wide. So we can come over here and set our picture frame sled to 17. I have a video on making this sled. There are no plans for the sled, just follow along with the video, you should be fine. The dimensions of this doesn't matter. It could be this small, it could be twice as big does not matter. That's why there are no plans because you don't need dimensions. You just need the operations, the step-by-step -step process. We cut the first side on the left side of the sled. Then we take that, we butt it up against our stop, and then we cut the second side. And then we follow the exact same steps for the parallel piece. The great thing about this sled is this ruler on here. We don't have to do any math figuring out how wide or skinny our rabbit is because the rabbit fits over the ruler and you can set the stop to the exact size of your artwork. We have the top and bottom. Now we need to measure the two sides. Vogue, Vogue. Strike the pose. Rule number four, this one is my favorite. Consider everything an experiment. Everything in this shop is an experiment. That's what makes woodworking fun. 22 inches tall. We'll go ahead, set the stop right at 22, and cut our two sides. It's gonna fit in there, perfect. Rule five, be self-disciplined. This means finding someone wise or smart and choosing to follow them. To be disciplined is to follow in a good way. To be self-disciplined is to follow in a better way. So before gluing these together, I'm just gonna rub a little bit of glue into that end grain and let it sit and dry. That'll kind of seal that off so when it is time to glue it up, all that glue won't get soaked into the end grain. Okay, gonna glue these together. I like to glue it face up so you can see if you've got a good seam without gaps. And we'll take some tape. And we'll just stretch that across. Do one more. Cool, we'll let that sit and dry for a little bit. Rule number six, nothing is a mistake. There's no win and no fail. There's only make. Normally I would reinforce these joints with my spline jig, but we made this really thin, so there's not a lot of meat for the splines. So I am going to take my staple gun 
and staple the corners. And that's gonna hold just fine for this frame. We're gonna take a piece of glass and cut it to size. And I just got this cheap little glass cutter. That's a good sound. So you score the glass, you put a piece of pencil underneath there, and you break it. And that's gonna fit. Seven, the only rule is work. If you work, it will lead to something. It's the people who do all the work all the time who eventually catch on to things. This is Simple Finish by my friends at Maker Brand. We just wipe some on, let it sit for a few minutes, wipe some more on, let it sit for a few minutes, and then wipe it off. And we're good. No idea why it's called Simple Finish. I just need a piece to go on the back. So I have this cardstock like stuff. This thing, super awesome and fast. Rule number eight, don't try to create and analyze at the same time. They are different processes. There are a couple of ways of holding this artwork in the picture frame, but before I get to that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Sunday. Sunday is reinventing lawn care by providing a smarter, easier, and safer way to having a thriving lawn. Sunday delivers a customized formula just for your lawn right to your doorstep. On their website, you'll enter your address to get an instant soil, climate, and lawn analysis for a custom plan. You'll get three shipments that are timed just for your climate, depending on where you live. Your first shipment will include nutrient pouches, a soil test that you send back to Sunday for analysis, and a sprayer and simple instructions. What I like about Sunday is there's no toxic pesticides and instead they use ingredients like molasses and seaweed, which are really great for soil health. This takes all the guesswork out of lawn care. Last summer, we had this area of our backyard resodded and we want to keep it looking good. This is where we hang out on nice days and it's where our pets do their biz. This is great if you have kids because it's safe, it's easy to use, and 1% of sales goes to restoring native tall grass prairies. Click the link in the description for $20 off your first order from Sunday using the code MAKESOMETHING20. There's no commitment, cancel anytime, money back guarantee. Thank you, Sunday, for making this video possible and for making our backyard beautiful and safe. We got our frame, have our sheet of glass, we got our poster, and then we have the backing. That is looking good. Point driver here to keep things in place. Oh, that's so easy. I have an old video to show you how to press a nail into the side, save you some money. Otherwise, this thing is really easy and cool to use. Little bumpers on the bottom, offset it from the wall. Be happy whenever you can manage it. Enjoy yourself. It's lighter than you think. I've got a video on proper picture frame making. I'll link to that down below. You can follow that step by step or you can break the rules and pick out the tips that you like from that video. Rule number 10, we're breaking all the rules, even our own rules. How do we do that? By leaving plenty of room for X quantities. John Cage. Helpful hints, always be around. Come or go to everything. Always go to class. Read anything you can get your hands on. Look at movies carefully, often. Save everything, it might come in handy later. There should be new rules next week. That is it folks, I will see you next week. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something.